Recycling is something that is not really attempted that well in a country like India. The cost of construction of a new bituminous four-lane highway is about 15 crore per kilometer with an additional maintenance cost of about 4 to 5 lakh per kilometer. This is the fascinating story of how for the first time our country is trying out an innovative new technology that will significantly bring down this cost. And at the same time, this technology is more environmentally sustainable than how we build and repair our highways presently. This is the story of bitumen cold recycling. It is uh, a fairly complex process. Uh, you take an existing road and uh, Indian engineers are content with uh, providing, you know, slightly overlays and so that is why in many places you must have seen that the road level being raised higher and higher. The interesting thing about India is the volumes are considerable, substantial. So when I say volume, total number of trucks. In fact, some of these regions where this is being done has heavy uh, uh, traffic reputations and the axle loads are high. You are going to see lot of tractor trailer combinations and they are slow moving. Designing for Indian conditions with the extreme temperatures, slow moving traffic, overload a truck, it is always a challenge. Considering the complexity of the material, most of the road agencies will be uh, hesitate a lot before they try to use it. So initially I started working with uh, NGVT. NGVT is at IIT Madras Research Park and NGVT is a world leader in terms of specialty chemicals for asphalt. So we started interacting with uh, Stefan from NGVT. I am uh, responsible for technical services in Asia. My job specifically is to uh, help uh, road owners, contractors, people involved with payment engineering to take care of their roadway network and uh, assist them in their goals related to payment maintenance and payment rehabilitation. Coal recycling is a, is a technique using a emulsion and using the existing blacktop material that we can use 100% of the old distressed uh, asphalt concrete layer and reuse that at the central plant location and recreate a very uh, uh, long-lasting layers to, uh, to carry this heavy traffic on the, on the highway. Basically what we do, it's grinding the old road and then we can take our emulsion with other additives and recreate at ambient temperature, so with no extra heat, with limited CO2 uh, uh, emissions, we can basically recreate some blacktop to make the layers that will carry the load on these roads. So we kind of put together a specification that is pulled out from different places and then try to demonstrate it in the laboratory. So this is the regular hot mix asphalt. So what we do, we simulate how much is the material gets densified or gets rutted in the field by subjecting it to a repeated load at 60 degrees centigrade. But this is at the topmost surface. What you see here is this particular one and when we subject the same to the rutwheel testing, in fact we can some have some interesting data, you will see that there is no rutting and uh, this is actually not at the surface. So this is uh, 15 centimeters from the surface, goes from the surface. So even testing it at 60 degrees centigrade is not really needed. I mean ideally you should test it at 50 degrees centigrade or below. But when we still subjected it to a 60 degree centigrade testing, you could see that there was no rutting at all. So it was really an opportunity to try a different technique and then to showcase, you know, this, uh, this process of emulsion called central plant recycling and really address some of the deficiencies that, you know, may have happened on, on previous projects. Currently, this technology is being implemented at the Ghaziabad Aligarh section of NS34 for more than 100 kilometers. Arpan Ghosh of VR Technish and Bhanoj of Cube Highways came forward to work with IIT Madras 
and Ingevity Corporation to implement this technology for the first time in the country. Cube Highways owns this road asset. Such an industry academia collaboration is made possible by the environment created by IIT Madras Research Park.